killings. So uh, Sam Harris, who I quite admire, is a very interesting guy, um, was reciting this parable at a TED talk that he was giving, and it goes something like this. So I am, uh, say I'm the President of the United States. So I received this message from the heavens. So my microwave dish, my SETI dish, finally captures something. And what it says is, in 50 years, or 13 years, we're coming to your planet. You've got to be ready. Now just imagine what would happen if, it, if that happened. A super intelligent alien race beamed down a message to all of us Earthlings saying, we're coming July 13th, 2030, and boy, you better be ready because the mothership is landing right on the front lawn of the White House or wherever you wanted to land on that day. The amount of resources that would be marshaled to try to figure out what to do, would, it would encompass the whole world. AI is just like that. So when this thing that I'm talking about happens, it's going to be exactly the thing that you're thinking about, about those super intelligent AIs. So the one thing I can tell you is they're not going to be like us. So alien means, you know, different. These things that we're building are not going to be people. They might be really smart. They might be really good at all sorts of different things, but they're not going to be like us. They're going to be aliens. And they're going to be, I'm sorry to say, way smarter than every single person in this room in ways that we can't even comprehend. So this, of course, triggers a lot of alarm. One of the guys who talks about this is Elon, who uh, says things like this. Like, when you do this, beware. Because you think, just like the guy in the stories, that when you do this, you're going to put that 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 little guy in a pentagram and you're going to have your holy water out and you're going to wave it at the thing and by God it's going to do exactly what you say and not one thing more but it never works out that way so uh, this, is an, this is an attitude that some are having this emerging alarmism about the way this is going to go but this, these words demons doesn't capture the essence of what's happening here uh, I don't know if any of you are uh, turn of the century weird fiction fans, but there's this guy named H.P. Lovecraft, who's a very famous American weird fiction author. And he exposed a, a view which is called cosmicism. And the essence of cosmicism is cosmic indifference. So he, what he was saying is basically, yes, there are these massively intelligent entities out there, but they're not good, they're not evil. They just don't give a shit about you even in the slightest. The same way that you don't care about an ant is the same way they're not going to care about you. And these things that we're summoning into the world now are not demons, they're not evil, but they're more like the Lovecraftian great old ones. There are entities that are not necessarily going to be aligned with what we want. So this transition is really, really massively important for our entire species to navigate and going back to that thing that Sam Harris was saying, nobody is paying attention. This thing is happening in the background while people bicker about politics and what, what's going to be in the health care plan in the U.S. And underneath it all is this rising tsunami that if we're not careful is going to wipe us all out. So um, on that uh, pleasant note, uh, we're hiring. He said, um, language is a way that we use other people as tools to achieve our goals. So it's really deep, right? So we don't usually think about language that way. But when I say something, I'm trying to use you as a tool to get something I want. Is I'm like, screw that. I'm going to do that myself. Right. So back, you know, 25 years ago, I was like, this is bullshit. Why aren't there any quantum computers? It's not that hard a problem. And so we changed the world by actually building them. And in this case, this is bullshit. Why don't we have AI? It's been what, 60 years since Turing? I mean, the, the, it's an absolute catastrophic failure of human resource allocation that we spend enormous amounts of money on 
things that are of no lasting consequence when the mechanism that generates all human flourishing is not understood. It doesn't make any sense. Every single thing that we will ever do and ever have done comes from this property. So when someday all cancer is cured, when polio was cured, when smallpox was cured, these things all came from people's minds.